If you use your warden ability with a super archer clone blip, you are doing it wrong. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to take down double poison tower ring bases with a super archer clone blimp attack. At past town halls, super archer clone blimps were a little all or nothing, but not anymore. So what do you do? You bring some rocket balloons with your attack like Sar1 does here. By the way, Sar1 last season had six accounts finish over 6k. So he knows what he's doing. And you're just going to blimp wherever you think there is some value to get. But do not use the warden ability. You do not need to go deep into the base. Just land in the second layer like Sar1 does here. And look at the value go away. So super safe. Didn't use the warden. The rocket balloons are incredibly powerful with this. And look, the super archers are getting value. They're going to target the town hall here. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a surprise. They aren't going to take down the town hall. In fact, they leave it on 1 HP. And you're probably thinking... Well, the attack's over. There's no way we can three-star from here. Never fear, though. When you've got the Warden ability with the Rage Gem and a bunch of Root Riders, it's an easy triple. In fact, this is the exact value Sarwan got here. So you need to change your mindset if you've always been Warden Blimping to get the Town Hall. You don't need the Town Hall anymore. In fact, the Town Hall's just nice if you do get it, but it's not at all required. Because when you've got the Warden ability with the King Glitch, this attack strategy is really quite easy. So we've got the super barbs going on the outside of the base. And their job is to funnel the king inside the base. Notice how he was going around whilst the root riders go in. But you use the super barbs to force him into the base. And look, these root riders will step in nicely. Now we use the RC on the top side. And her job is to send the root riders into the core. So you have the RC and the super barbs to do their job. We pop the warden ability now. We get a few headhunters in it. But we're mainly negating all the damage in the core. And look at this. I mean, we haven't used our King, Queen, or RC ability. And it looks like there's a lot of base left off, but there really isn't. Now the King is tanking the Monolith. Well, not anymore, but the Ricochet Cannon and was tanking the Monolith. And with his Invincibility Gauntlet, what can the base do to stop this? It's completely overkilled. It's not even close. And that's despite us not getting the Town Hall. And that's what I have to tell you. You do not need to get the Town Hall anymore with your Super Archer Clone Blimps. Do a safe blimp on the outside of the base, use the Rocket Loons to find Sam's, and you will be extremely successful. Double Giant Bomb, and unless you land straight on top of it, those Super Archers have no chance. So look at that. Essentially, no value with the Super Archer Clone Blimp. Now, the one thing he did well was he didn't waste spells. He recognized very quickly that uh, the attack was over and did not waste any more on it. A lot of people would spam down the clone spells and the invis still and the rage, and then the attack for real would be over. But we got the Root Riders coming in. We use an invis to get the monolith off it. Not the best invis. And now we pop the Warden ability, because otherwise all the Root Riders are going to go down. We use our own rage on the healers. we got to get these Root Riders back to life. But we've got no freeze spells. We've got two clone and three invis to take down the core of this base. But you're going to see why this is possible. Because look at the gauntlet glitch. Now this won't be around forever. So there is maybe there's a chance by the time you watch this video it's not in the game anymore. And if that's the case I'm going to tell you there's no way this triples without the gauntlet glitch. But every other attack in today's video does not require the gauntlet glitch. However it will take advantage of it. That is the strength of this attack strategy. But look the king clears out the entire core by himself. Now we have the queen going on the outside. And you're going to see the benefit of the rage gem right here because it's giving that extra lit little bit of healing capabilities to our healers and they're keeping this queen barely alive the rc on the top side is doing a fantastic job she's only got the diggy by the way doesn't even have the fox the fox would be perfect for what she's doing right now we use another invis and look we are sitting on two clone spells and he's in fact gonna clone some super bubs now I argue he didn't need to do that, but maybe he did because I uh, had no more headhunters for the defensive king. He probably needed that clone, but he definitely does not need the second clone he uses here. Look on the top side. So, for the first time in Clash of Clans history, Sarwan's going to swag a clone spell with Super Archer clone attacks. I've never seen that before. This was totally unique to me, but shows the power of this, and it shows... Even if you don't bring your Warden with the Blimp and you get baited, the Warden is still going to get insane value with your main push anyway. Now, I wouldn't recommend this, and you're definitely not going to triple more often than not if you make this mistake. 
but it's still possible and that's ridiculous in of itself. Now every attack in today's video has featured three single infernos and you can try and make the case if you want that that's helped, but single infernos are terrible for an army with four root riders, a titan, and where it relies on your heroes to get a lot of the base. If it was three multis, Sarwan would be wrecking these bases even more, but obviously with root riders being powerful, you see a lot of single infernos in the meta. So if you're not running into single infernos, you're running into a lot of multi infernos, then this way of taking down the base gets even stronger. Look at the value Sarwan's getting here. Clearing out the monolith, the eagle, we get one of the poison towers, the single inferno, and are we going to get the town hall? No, we are not. Now, he did have one other replay that's not going to be in this video, where he did take down the town hall on a central town hall base. So it's still possible, and if you do it, you're going to wreck the base even harder. But I just want to show you that it's not necessary at all. Now, is there a bit more risk with the fact that you don't get the town hall? Maybe, but also keep in mind you're not wasting your Warden ability. Like, in the past when you did a Super Archer clone hit and use your Warden ability with the blimp, if you didn't get the Town Hall, not only was the attack over, but you're likely to one-star. This, if you even if you fail, you're still very likely to two-star because you've got the, as in, even if you fail your blimp completely, you're still likely to get the two-star just because the Warden ability is so strong with hero equipment. And look at this. There is two single infernos up, there's the ricochet cannons, there is so much single point damage left on this base. But the root riders are going to go straight through it all, even with the freeze, uh, the, the freezing from the ice golems here. Even with that in effect, not enough to stop this army, because it's just so broken when you've got the warden ability. Now we have the king gauntlet glitch, yeah, I know, it sucks, but it's... The only reason I'm showing this is because it's not the reason this attack triples. It was the reason the last attack tripled, but that was a specific thing, obviously. But it's not the reason most of these attacks triple. I mean, look at this. This Sui isn't even going that well, but you've got the Super Barbs on the outside of the base. They're going to do a great job funneling all our troops in. Queen's coming back. She will get the tunnel down. RC ability goes off as well. Queen is still hanging onto her ability. Is this an overkill? No, but it is going to be a triple, and you can see the value of the Rage Gem here. Now, if in case you're wondering if his hero equipment's insane level, it isn't. The Rage Gem's pretty low. Uh, it does have max RC, you don't see that too often, but yeah, not insane level equipment, and this is still dominating on some of the most toxic bases in the meta. Now, if that's not enough for you, later today we will release a second video of Sarwan's attacks showing how he takes down Box bases, and you guessed it, he does not use the Warden Blimp either. I'm telling you, if you want to be successful with Super Archer Clone attacks, never use the Warden ability.